Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ezra. Welcome back to the Prepping Channel. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take this two by eight by eight foot pine and turn it into this four by eight raised bed. All right guys, so for the tools that you're gonna need, you're gonna need a drill, you're gonna need some drill bits, some screws, preferably um, exterior screws, some deck screws. Uh, you're also gonna need a measuring tape to measure your distance on how you're gonna cut your boards. You're gonna need a speed square. Speed square will help you to not only get the bed squared, but also to draw your straight lines so that you can cut. Um, with that, you're gonna need a pencil or a marker. Also, you're gonna need some type of stapler. You can use a handheld stapler. You can also use, uh, like what I'm gonna use here is a air stapler. Um, you're also gonna need some gloves that we don't get any splinters or get hurt in any way. And also some safety glasses. So um, with that, you also need a circular saw or a miter saw to do all your cuts. You can do your cuts by hand with a hand saw. It's just gonna take a little bit longer, but uh, if you have these basic tools, we can get the job For done. The material that you're gonna use, uh, you're gonna need some wood. Uh, right here I have some pine. I have two by eight by, uh, two by eight by eight foot long. And I'm not using pressure treated wood. And the reason for it is because the, the, the chemicals that they use in the pressure treated wood, you don't really, really want that in your raised bed. Um, also, I'm losing some landscaping fabric. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow the bottom to be layered so that way no weeds or anything grow in and choke your fruits your vegetables or anything like that also uh, in my area i have a, a issue with some moles and so uh, what i'm going to use is some chicken wire and that's to layer the bottom that's what the staplers for to staple that to the bottom so that way that when the moles come through or if they do come through they don't dig up into your raised beds right um, you can also use hardwood cloth um, or chicken wire either one whichever is cheapest whatever is readily available to yeah, you so when you grab wood or lumber from a either home depot lowe's or wherever you grab your lumber the the ones that i'm using is a two by eight by eight foot long now typically they're not a f perfect eight foot so what i'm going to do is i'm going to measure up to eight foot and that's where i'm going to cut all my boards um, and that's when you need your measuring tape you're going to need your uh, pencil and your speed square for that application um, also so the beds are going to be eight foot long by four foot wide so once i get my measurements and have all my boards cut by eight foot i just cut a few of them or one or two of them uh, down the middle that's my four foot for my ends and then i'll have my eight foot for the sides so before you cut you want to make sure that your safety glasses are on um, also a rule of thumb is to measure twice, cut once. So I'll re-measure. Eight foot. Now we're ready to cut. All right guys, so now that you've made your cuts, you have your eight foot, and you also have your four foots. You're gonna orientate the eight foots going long ways, four foots going across. And remember it's four foot by eight foot. So you're gonna put the four foot ones on the outside, not on the inside edge, on the outside. So now what you'll do, and that's very important because when you use your chicken wire, they come in four foot uh, wide lengths. So you don't wanna have, the long, the long eight foot on the outside because it'll make it longer than four foot on the sides. So this is when you're gonna need your drill bits. You wanna pre-drill holes. You wanna pre-drill a couple holes and it's important to do so because remember we're not using pressure treated wood. And so with unpressure treated wood, if you don't pre-drill your holes, it'll split your wood when you go to put your decking screws in. All right, so you're gonna take Two on each side, which should be enough. Pre-drill them. And then 
go ahead and drill. All right guys, so now that you have all four boards uh, drilled together, you wanna go ahead and uh, put the chicken wire on or the hardware cloth. This is when you're gonna need either your air stapler or your hand stapler so you can staple it all the way around. We'll flip it around and then we'll go ahead and put the land, uh, landscaping cloth on top. All right, so now once you get one side, two sides, you can go ahead and stretch on one side so that way it's nice and tight and then start to staple all the way around so that way your hardware cloth or your chicken wire is nice and tight, nice and straight. Once you have once you have them all stapled around all the way around you'll cut off the excess clean it up make it look good and then we'll flip it back around all right once you have laid your chicken wire or your hardware cloth and stapled it all down trimmed off the excess all the way around now it's time to flip it over Now once you flipped it over, you'll have the hardware cloth at the bottom protecting it. Like I said, if you have mold problems uh, like I do here, it, it'll protect that, the, the plants from the molds coming up and disturbing any root system that you have already made. Now your next, the next thing you'll do is grab your hardware cloth or your landscaping cloth and cut it out perfectly and lay it in there, lay in your soil whatever growing medium you're going to be using then start transplanting your seedlings or your uh, fruits your vegetables whatever you have growing from the inside that you've started inside and what, what I'll do is on the next video I'll go ahead and show you how to do some transplanting I'll have all the rest of these raid bed made and then I'll show you how I and what apps that I use to help you and assist you in transplanting and growing from seeds um, from seedlings to raised beds, even to inside. All right, so if you like this content, if you wanna see more content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, share, comments, or your comments and your feedback helps out, help us out big time. That way we know what else that you're looking to watch. All right, till next time.